I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the whiplash. It's basically, um, there's like a new and improved version, but I'm going to start from the very beginning. So I think a lot of people that are in the community were around when there was this glitch kind of that came out where when you did Yumiko Desig and you mashed it over and over while dashing, you could get this like really weird dash. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. Um, but if you don't know, the way it works is like you basically are doing because Yumiko Danzig has so much cooldown. The the whole glitch is based off cooldown. So like when you do the sig again during cooldown, for some reason it makes you do like a really fast dash. So we have to like, like the, the main reason why it only works for sigs that are similar to Yumiko D sig is because um there's so much cooldown on the sig. So but you can also jump, so you can do the dash jump um version of it like that. You get like a really short hop. So like this allows you to do a, a short hop, which is like literally impossible in Brawlhalla, because in Brawl, if you press jump, you go up this high, and you can only fast fall like after you kind of almost reach the apex of your jump. So you can't really short hop. So like this is the only way to really short hop, and it's like instantaneous. So that's like the first version of it. And you might be thinking like, okay, like does it only work on like sigs with like a lot of cooldown? No, it actually works on light attacks. It works on every attack in the game. It's just that the timing is different. So I like. Oh my, I saw it. Oh, right there, right there. So I basically, yeah, right here. I'm basically missing a attack and pressing it again during the cooldown of the attack. And it makes me do the same thing you would do on Yumiko, just for a, a shorter amount of time because there's less cooldown because it's a light attack and not a heavy attack. I'm about to get to the interesting part. When me and my friend Streamline, because Streamline made this, he, he, he figured it out. Like he was the one who found it. And we all thought that you could only do it after missing an attack. So we were like, okay, it's cool, but it's not that useful because you have to miss a attack to do it. But no, we actually figured out that you can hit a attack and do it. Um, so when we would try to, to do it on hit, the main problem that we uh, found was that like we were accidentally chase dodging because let's say you want to do a side light. If you want to do a side light and then do a dash, you can't really dash after it because you chase dodge. Because the whole thing is doing a attack, then buffering it, then doing a dash jump uh, fast fall. But we figured out that you couldn't do it because you would chase dodge. But what Streamline found was that if you buffer the, uh, if you basically do a dash by holding downwards, instead of doing it sideways, you don't chase dodge. And then you go back to pressing forward, then you can buffer it like that. Um, there's an easier way to do it. And this guy messaged me saying that there's an easier way to do it. So instead of doing the thing where you, uh, you like dash by holding down and then you buffer it while doing it super fast. You can basically buffer it, then dash. So you could do side light, hold it down, then sell it again in between that buffer. And then you go for the dash. So all together, it's like that. Without having to do any of the like weird like dash in between. So much easier that way. And then this way also allows me to do it off of end light without having to like hold up. Because the way to do it with end light would be to normally end light, then dash by holding down, then hold up. To, to buffer the um, end light without doing a chase dodge. So this version where you're able to hold and then do the dash um, afterwards is a lot easier, so much easier. But then uh, also this morning, Cyan Gaming hit me up and showed me another version to do it. And he, he was like saying that, so like, so backtracking to the way that we were dashing by holding down, apparently there's other ways to dash. You can dash without holding down apparently. So I guess with this new dash change, you can buffer a forward dash by doing a back dash during the attack. So if you do a side on spear, for example, and then you hold backwards like this, and then you press the dash key. So like this, and then you let go of back and then press forward. It'll make you do a forward dash like that without having to um hold down. So I'm basically doing a, let me try it again <laughs> like that. I'm basically doing a forward dash without pressing down off of a side light while holding sideways. So when you do that, and then you mix it in with the buffer, you can basically do a whiplash without having to, um, without having to press down. So like, if you find it hard to do the whole, like press down then go back up, it's like hard. So if you like, there's different ways to do it basically. Now I'm about to get into like, um, different variants of it. So I believe that, um, those three different versions that I, I just showed have like different results. So on sword, when I'm playing sword, especially like a Tori, and I do that, that hard version where you do like the dash by holding down, then go back to pressing forward. You can get like a, a lot of weird drift back. So for example, off sword side light, 
if you hit a sword side like, like this and you do the um the uh dash by holding down into going back forward you can do the side air all right right here so you can see right here that i hit the sword side light and i did some weird buffer thing where i'm able to do a fade away side air like i'm like doing like a, a glitching fade away side air <clears throat> and the only way you can input this is if you do um the only way you can do this is if you do the thing, the version where you do like the dash by holding down and then switch back to pressing forward. This is the only way you can input it. If I did it the other way where like you hold it and then you do the dash after the buffer, I would have done like a normal thing where I stayed close to them. So depending on how you input it, you get different results. So you can buffer a back dash and then press forward and dash. Yeah, if you want to do a, a, um, a forward dash without actually holding down, you can basically do a side light or your do whatever attack you want, then hold backwards as you're doing the attack. And then while you're holding back, you press the dash button and it doesn't do anything until you press forward. So like, it's basically just attack, hold backwards, press dash, and then you let go of back and then press forward. And you can let go of your dash button. So you basically just do that and then you just press forward. Like that. And then you're able to do a forward dash without um, without holding down, as you can see. Well, I'm messing it up sometimes because I'm not used to it either. But yeah, you, you can basically buffer it by doing a back dash and just letting go of back and pressing forward. Does the back dash method make it harder, make the harder version more consistent? Um, yeah, yeah, basically. The back dash method makes the harder version more consistent. That's basically what it does. Because um, if you find it difficult to have to constantly be like pressing downwards and switching between down and forward, like you can just buffer it with the back dash instead. It's, a, it, it's like a little bit more confusing if, like, you're not, if you're not used to buffering the forward dash. So after the back dash thing, you do the attack. You do um the attack that you just inputted while you're doing the dash, and then you turn around like this. So once you see yourself like doing this like slide thing where you're turning around, that's how you know you're doing it. And then you mix it in with a jump fast fall. That's basically what it is. So side light, do the back dash buffer, and then you do the side light again while dashing. And then once you get this slide consistently, try to get the jump in, and then boom. That's basically how you do it. That's how you do it with that version. Me personally, I, I feel like when you do the version with this, uh, the back dash buffer, it comes out slower. Like it feels like it takes longer for it to happen. How would you do it without the back dash? So without the back dash, what you would do is you do a side light, then you would hold down and then press dash and then go back to pressing forward. So it would be like almost like a forward down forward input in like a traditional fighting game. It'd be like down forward, but like really fast. And you, you basically have to let go of down, then press forward, and then you have to press your attack as soon as you let go of down. And then that's how you would do it normally. Um, and you can see how like that version would be harder because you might miss input and go for like a dash side light because you attack too early. It just depends like whatever you're comfortable with, you know? Go over the part like learning the back dash buffer and then going from that into whiplash. Okay, so back dash buffer. Basically, you can dash without holding downwards if you hit the attack and then hold backwards like this. So you can see my inputs. I'm holding backwards. And then after you hold backwards, you press dash while you're doing it. And then after that, you just press forward. And then it makes you do a dash because you're buffering it. So I'm doing a dash by hitting them, holding backwards, then pressing dash while the attack is still happening. And then once the attack is over, I just um press forward yeah we can check out how it looks on some of the other weapons because i know streamline is really fucking good at doing it on like other characters i'm good at doing it on spear let me give y'all like another use for why it's good yeah off a gun highlight is also really easy okay so let me explain this real quick so you know how i was saying on yumiko you can do that thing where like you dash really far you can do the same thing on here so not only can you do like the dash jump off the whiplash where you like jump backwards, you can also get the double dash where you're able to dash like this super far off of the whiplash. So for example, on bow satellite, I can buffer the bow satellite and then I can mash um, downwards. Was that the one? Yeah, that, that was it. That was it right there. So I'm doing the attack and buffering it. And then I'm dashing um, like the way you would if you did the Yumiko D-Sig. And when you do it like that, it allows you to catch reads that you weren't able to normally hit. So like, let's say 
um i have them at like this hp and then i have them dodging uh up and away i'm pretty sure if i try to like if i try to like dash it normally i'm not sure if i'd be able to catch it off a of close off a of close i would be able to let's see if i can do it off of this so yeah all right off a of far side you can't so, so let's see if i can do it with the whiplash yeah you basically can if you you see that with the whiplash you can catch things that you're not able to normally catch but by doing the, the uh, extended dash yeah you can get some crazy stuff off a of hammer side like because on hammer you're not supposed to be able to like get to ground the side or position without having to do a jump fastball off hammer you can do like yeah off hammer it's crazy because you're able to do these like kind of grounded side airs where you wouldn't be able to normally do it because like the whole thing is like hammer's dead zone is diagonally right here but if you do the whiplash you can get to that angle without even having to do a jump fastball. You see how low that is? You see, like, you see how low that was? I'm doing a whiplash shatter here, and I'm hitting that. I'm hitting the dead zone. I'm hitting the hammer dead zone. So if I wanted to like chase him here, you see that? I'm literally covering the hammer dead zone because I'm able to get into a spot that's literally impossible to get into. Okay, the bot reset itself. Yeah, now look, you see? Okay, it doesn't hit this time because the bot reset. But you see that, like, I'm hitting this whiplash side air, and I'm hitting these grounded things that are literally in the hammer dead zone. And now imagine this: I can do the uh, the buffer instead of like the double dash. You see that? Chat, did y'all see that? I literally hit a double dash because I did the, the Yumiko tech off a hammer side light, off of a light attack. So on hammer, this is like insane. It's it's kind of good with it. Not really, to be honest. So cannon is one of those weapons where you don't, you can't really do shit with it, for, like for the whiplash. Just because, um, when you look at the attacks on cannon, off of end light, you don't touch the ground in time. Like the cooldown is happening while you're in the air, and by the time you're back on the ground to be able to do the whiplash, like it's already too late. I don't either it's an extremely like frame perfect tight input but i'm pretty sure you can't do end light because you like don't touch the ground in time but like i might be wrong you know like there might be a weird case like it might be really hard to go off end light yeah but on canon i would say it's probably like not well, like one of like the worst ones to do with just because the end light leaves you in the air that's the main thing because it, it isn't it won't work for every weapon or like it won't be as optimal for every weapons i would say it's really good on spear it's really fucking good on spear it's good off a of sword side light it's really good on scythe on gauntlets it can only really be good off off of like end light um at like low percentages how does it affect orb let's see i haven't really tried it out on orb i would say orb is probably like you, you would just mainly do it off of end light, to be honest, because side light is a combo starter. Oh yeah, that's crazy off of end light, holy shit. Yeah, off of, off of orb end light, it's like disgusting. That's nasty, bro. And then think about like the double dash too. You see that, like, okay, that was slow. That might be the one. It's just that orb and light has like no cooldown, so it's gonna be like a even smaller window. So you could like theoretically do like an end light with blast side or like that, like, like really fast. Super quick. It's really satisfying to do an orb actually. I'm jumping way too early. Because the thing is if you jump too early, you do this thing where like you're jumping backwards basically. And if you're jumping backwards, like you're on the right track, it just means that you're jumping too early. So once you like delay the jump a little bit, you'll get it. Axe, you can do it for Axe and Light, and you can do it for Axe D Light. It's actually very good for Axe D Light. I used to do it by accident all the time. By accident. No pun intended, but um, it's actually pretty good on Axe. You like get into, you start like, it's, it's like X pivoting off of a D Light. So you do a D Light, and then you see how you do this. You can do like a, a weird Nair combo off of that, like that. So an Axe is not that bad. Off of end light, you can um do that. It's just that axe hits you far away. Like axe is a weapon where like you hit them and they go really far. So there's not really a reason to like do like close range like mix up options. Just because like they're not really gonna go like they're gonna go too far away, like too far away for even 
to consider pressuring like that. Oh, how would you even do it off of end light it, on Gracer? Because you can like do a bridge. That's weird. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> on Gracer, it is good though. I can I can tell you that. But Shinlai was doing it off of like end lights, side lights, all types of shit. Tried on Katars. Yeah, sure. I already did on guitars, but yeah, you can, it's really good off of end light on guitars. Yeah, it's kind of weird on guitars. You can kind of just do like grounded um nares and stuff. Cause okay, the original okay, like let me let me tell you something about Yumiko. This character is fucking crazy. On Yumiko, you can whiplash like three times in a row without having to do the the, the cooldown window on Yumiko is so fucking big that you can do a hammer D sig and whiplash like multiple times in a row. See, like look, let me see if I can get it. You see, I just did two whiplashes without doing another attack because the window was so big. You're able to, like, that, like, god mode intangibility thing where you become a god for, like, half a second. On Yumiko, it's, like, for three seconds. We can go back to that Impala clip that I hit earlier today where you guys can see, like, what I was doing. Just so I can show you guys, like, how crazy it actually is. So, look at this. For the people that are new, uh, that just got here, look at this. This is, like, real game application, as you can see. This is me fighting Impala. And light whiplash and light D sig. And then side sig. I was able to like mix them up and condition them by doing the whiplash into another instant whiplash. Like, you see how weird that looks? Like, because when someone, when you see someone jump away, because in Brawl, in Brawl, if someone jumps away from you, like this, you should like. He sees me jumping and he's like, okay, he's going to do like a full length jump. You know what I'm saying? So like, like from Impala's perspective, seeing this, I shouldn't be able to even hit him at all because I'm like, it seems like I'm jumping away from him and in Brawler, you can't normally cancel your jump, you know? But then I, I stop, I start fast falling already. And then I come back with another end light and it's like, what the fuck? And then I do it again. And then I come back and I delay it instead of doing an instant attack. And I do a GCD sync.